Hey folks, this is Johnny, uh, and welcome to the Home Studio Trainer Show. I hope you guys are having a great day. All right, so uh, here we are on Friday, July 7th. <laughs> Even though I did yesterday's video just today, but that's okay. You guys get the general idea. It's fun to do these things. All right, what we're going to look at today is we are going to look at adding a fade out to your entire song. This is something very much like the tempo changes uh, that I, we did in the last video. This is something uh, that you're going to want to wait till the very, very end before you do anything else. Now, there's a couple of things to be aware of if you're going to do this. So let's go ahead and go through them. And if you could, as always, I would really appreciate it if you would uh, become a member. There are three super affordable levels uh, that you can uh, choose to support the channel. Or if uh, the financial part is a little bit tough for you, please click the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notified. That is another good way. Also, if you look in the description, there are ways you can buy me a coffee there is, you can become a patreon member all of these videos end up on patreon and they end up there ad free so if you don't want to become a member here or make any donations here become a patreon member there's also three levels over there and you can get all of these videos ad free so very cool so hopefully that helps you guys all right so what we're going to look at we're going to look at adding a fade out at the end of a song. This question comes up a lot, especially in the main uh, Persona Studio One group. So um, this particular instance of this question actually came up in the HST Studio One support groups over on uh, Facebook. So if you guys aren't the members there, please go ahead. It's the only good thing about Facebook. That's it. Well, uh, my stuff and personas and stuff. I got to be careful. All right, so here we go. Let's go to the classroom. And what we're going to do here is we're going to add a fade out. You can, uh, if you guys remember the last song, you can see here's all the tempo data I did in the last video. So what we're going to do here is we're going to kind of bring this down. Now you can tell here it's just going to stop at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. And that's it. Although that is kind of a cool ending. All right, so what I want to do is I want to fade out from the the second to last chorus to the end. So now, since a lot of these are MIDI tracks, I can't just highlight them and draw a fade out. For those of you that are familiar with doing fades in audio tracks, there is a fade handle. In MIDI tracks, there isn't. There isn't any way to fade out a MIDI performance uh, MIDI-wise. At least not that I'm aware of. If anybody knows, leave a, a comment in the description. But so once the song is done and you got MIDI tracks, there is no need to take all of your MIDI... I said MIDI... To take all of your MIDI tracks and transform them to audio, the two words I screwed up there. Uh, there's no need to make all of your MIDI audio tracks just to do a fade out. There's a real simple automation way to do this. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the main channel here, and I guess my video is like really in the way here, so let's go here. There we go. All right, so here is the main out channel. Now, if you... <laughs> I have to make sure I explain this here. If you are going to use the main out for your fade, make sure that your limiter and compressor or anything else that you have processing the main out is on the insert and not on the post. The reason is, is because if you have those two, especially on the post, as the volume comes down, it affects how those react to the volume. So the comp as the volume goes down, the compression and the limiter will actually start to go away, and it'll have this weird um, volume hopping kind of a thing in some cases. So if you are going to use the main out for your fade out, you want to make sure that those are in the inserts. It doesn't change the sound, contrary to some opinions. It actually just fades everything out and the limiter and the compressor on the main out work as they are as the volume fades because there's nothing on the post. I don't know how better to explain that. Maybe uh, maybe, maybe uh, Joe Gilder or Lucas can pop in on the comments and explain to me why that is because I really don't know why that is. I, I kind of do, but I can't explain it. All right, so now if you don't want to mess with your main channel, 
this is the beauty of a mix bus. Okay, I'm going to be doing a video on a mix bus. I think I've got one out there, but I'll, I'll do a more in-depth one. So what a mix bus is, is if you look here on all of your tracks, you can, let me actually open up the browser and change my overview. And I think I can bring my camera back now. There I am. Okay. So one of the things that you can do is you can create a mix bus. So basically you're just going to create a bus. And instead of all of these tracks, you can see here, these are going to certain other buses and then the main out, anything going to the mains, you would reroute to the mix bus. Then the mix bus is pointed to the mains. So then you could place the automation on the mix bus and then you don't have to worry about affecting all of this stuff. <sighs> Hopefully that makes sense. All right. All right. So, um, although I do like to use the main out, it's just simpler. I, I don't like a mix bus for me personally, because I really never have that many tracks in any of my songs to require, uh, that kind of control. So there you go. Um, and for those of you that are asking, how about a VCA fader? Will that work? Uh, no, uh, yes, but no. And I will do a video on VCA faders and explain why that is. All right. So let's bring this back down here. <laughs> I think I'm over explaining here. All right. So in order to get an automation lane here, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to actually click once on the main out level. Now there are a lot of ways to do this. I'm not going to go through all the different ways to add the automation track, but we're just going to go ahead. I'm going to click once on the automation uh, on the main out level, and I'm going to go way up here into the corner and you can see that it has a volume option here in the control link. So now I'm going to grab the little hand and I'm going to drag it all the way to the bottom and boom, there we go. Now I have an automation lane for my main out channel. Interesting that I made them green. It wasn't, uh, wasn't deliberate. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to expand our view here and we are going to choose the start point of our fade and the end point of our fade. I'm just going to make it just right there. And I'm going to bring this all the way down. So there we go. So now if you move your mouse to the center, you have this little bend, um, diode. What would you call that? Dot. I don't know why I said diode. I don't even know what that means. All right. So <laughs> it's an electrical thing. Uh, so now I can actually take this middle dot. And of course, when I move my mouse away, you can see it disappears. So this is in permanent. You don't want to actually create. Oh, that, that's it. A node. I don't know. I said diode. Uh, so there you go. So you, so you don't want to create a node because then it'll make it really, it'll make it really stiff. So if I actually click a dot here and I bring this down, yeah, you can see it goes, eh, eh, we don't want that. So let me undo that and undo the node. And if we actually use this, we can actually bend it. See, we're actually bending it. We're adding a slope, if you will. So I want this to kind of fade out quickly yet smoothly. So I can put this node, see if it'll let me move it here. There we go. I can do it this way or I can do it this way. You go up and down. There we go. We're going to make a nice little slope. So let's see what our fade out sounds like. Ooh, that was really, I did not like that at all. Okay, I did not like that at all. So let's go back here. Let's make it a little less slopey. Or maybe I should do it this way. What if I bend up? So then it'll kind of gradually come down. Let's listen to that. Ooh, there we go.
I would actually say that is about that's the be <laughs> that is the best fade out I've ever put on a song. I I never thought to actually start with the bend kind of high and let it go down. <laughs> For my own gratification and no one else's, I want to listen to that one more time. Jeez. It's beautiful. <laughs> I need to go back to every song I've ever published when if I've done a fade out and <laughs> redo them all. Oh, uh, okay, so there we go. And, and pardon me for getting stoked about my own song. A little selfish there, but there you guys. You, you guys you guys get how, how excited I get about this stuff. All right, so there we go. And then you can go ahead and move this up. And then when you're finished, all you have to do is click on the little automation icon right here and there we go, and it all goes away, and you got your whole song back. We do an overview. There we go. So that is how I do fades on a song. Remember, if you're going to use the main out, make sure you put all your processing on the insert, not on the post, because the post is is post fader, which is why, you know, maybe I do understand this more than I think I do. It's on the post fader, so it affects everything before the plugins. If you put it on the insert, I know you guys are laughing. Uh, if you put it on the insert, it affects everything equally. Gosh, dang it. I keep whacking the microphone. I'm not used to this being over here. So hopefully that helps. And that pretty much takes care of that. That is putting a fade out on your song. And remember that this is usually pretty important if you are done with the song. I mean, yeah, you can put it on before you're done. I guess it really doesn't hurt, but this is something you never know how many instruments you're going to add, and you might have to adjust volume so that the fade out sounds right. It really depends. Now, if you have dozens and dozens of tracks, you're probably going to want to do this for some specific tracks so that some <laughs> tracks, and everybody's going, no, don't say this, so that some tracks don't stand out. So you would actually have to put automation fade outs on certain tracks along with the main fader. Now, if you've got all audio tracks, you can literally cut all of the audio tracks off at the end at the point you want to fade out and then fade out all of the audio tracks. I'll do a video on that uh, at a different point. All right. So I hope that you guys found this helpful. Um, if you guys could, like I said earlier, if I can find it, there it is. Become a member. There are three super affordable levels to actually help support the channel right now. There are no members as of this day today. Um, there is a video a day every day for this show coming out from forever <laughs> for as long as I'm alive. I will make sure that that's done. If you can't afford uh, uh, one of the membership levels, then please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to get notified, and that would be awesome. All right, that's it for me. Um, this is the video for July, Friday, July 7th, 2023. So uh, with all of the dates on the videos now, it should be easier to keep track of what shows I did when, and this is the format of the show. There are some live streams coming. I think I'm going to do one this month. I'm probably going to do it in the afternoon because that's when I got my most uh, views on my videos, and then I'll consider maybe doing one at the uh, old 6 o'clock time. Not quite sure when I'm going to do that. I got some uh, personal matters going on with my wife and all of her doctor appointments, so we'll see how many I can squeeze in all right that's gonna i'm out of breath all right that's gonna take it for me or make it that i'm done i'll see you guys later see you in the next video